Okay, customer wants to know how we're going to balance this thing. So you have to have this tool right here. That goes right over here for now. So you're in charge of this. Lights off. There you go. Alright, right over here is our balance. Even though I covered it, I always wipe the dirt off. Okay, there's anything on there. Okay, this stand is made for doing big grinding wheel stands. Big grinding wheel balancers. The name on it someplace. Yeah, whatever it is. Somewhere has a name on it. Okay, so what you gotta do first thing is drop the arbor out of it. It's really close. Okay, we got this all figured out weight in the last video. So first thing I do is we gotta press this into here. So so we have a little dot right here we put on here, reference dot. I usually put that right in the center of the key right there. That way I can repeat whatever I do if I rebalance them again. You gotta repeat. Put a little pressure on there. About that much. It appears to be tight. That was like one and a half pounds. Just a little bit. This year I got a mark right here. I put that toward the top. When I made all my weights, I try to make them without too much clearance so they kind of repeat. But they're not 100% perfect. So they do float. And that float does induce errors. So that means it's not perfect. When I have a pre made weight, Obviously, it doesn't move around when you do it, so it repeats really close. This stuff here, you get a little bit of clearance, you get a little clearance and everything. As you bolt it down, you kind of let it kind of self center, and hopefully, it's pretty close. Okay, there's our weight. Now, the problem I have right now is see, that is in my way. I was worried about it hitting on one of the two sides. The S and S arbor is a little bit longer, you don't have as much of a problem. This one here, you can see how I cannot balance it. It's hitting. If you go all the way to the very edge, like that, you still hit. See, it's going to come off up here. Can't, can't use this one. A little bit heavy on the bottom. I'm surprised that it's not too far out of balance. I thought it'd be a lot worse than that being unbalanced. Okay, we're gonna have to redo this. This combination will not work. We can have a lot of a lot of stuff on this side, but not this side.
zeroed again. Gotta come up with a new combination. Seven, six, 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 five, six, six, five. Drop one. Close we're gonna get two tenths up. That's our lightest component, lightest mixed match of parts. So you want 76, wasn't it? Yeah, nine seven six three. I got five, see right here. Yeah, it's close five. enough. So uh, hopefully all this bolts together. Yeah, we didn't use that before either. That's the other parts. Remember what I did last. Okay, now this should clear now. Drop it a couple times. What the hell? Ooh, next problem. So now we're too much on this side. It wasn't unlimited clearance, but it was close. <laughs> so we're right on the tip of that. So ideally, I want to add a bolt on this side and eliminate some some distance on that side. See how close we are? Yet that works. Who's we'll gonna pie?
Ooh. There you go. 763, right? Yeah, 9763. Two, three, four. That's right in there. Two. Okay, we are close as hell now. Okay, so now. I put a couple of these on this side, a couple of these on this side. I'm lucky. Get some bottoms out in the middle, which it might. This will just make it. Perfect. The bolts can hit each other in the middle. That'd be a problem. So 76.5, or 3 I mean, or 76.2. So one tenth light this time. Uh, let's see, it runs over here. I need to get a flywheel too. Just gonna jockey back and forth until we get what we need. I need to make some bigger weights. Maybe that's a big weight I had might have worked too. These come with different combinations of parts until we get what we need. Hopefully this does the trick. Clear everybody. We're close here though. Got a lot of gap on this other side. So. We bottomed out on the shank of the bolt. We have two washers over here we can use. These two. But what is thicker on these? Sharp these. That's what we're trying to eliminate. That looks like it'd be a problem. Close. The bolt wasn't a problem. Now I'm all mixed up. Threads on the side there are the problem. I probably tapped it from both directions. Overlap in the middle. That's probably where the problem is right now. Okay, 
Okay, what did I leave off? Uh, two. Good clearance. Move it in a little bit. There we go. Perfect. We got good overlap on the shaft, so we don't have to worry about hitting anything, and it's centered. It just took a few minutes, that's all. Okay, heavy is down. None no more. Okay, appears to be heavy in that area. And it needs to be this much weight removed. How much weight's that? Not much. So I'm gonna put a hole right over here. I'm gonna put two holes over here. Now give me room to center it up and balance it. Yep. Yep. Okay. You gotta make sure you don't hit down here. Okay, so maximum effect is dead center. But we don't want to drill right here because it weakens the flywheel can crack through there. So you want to drill off the sides. The further away you get from where the center point is, the less effect that weight does. It takes weight out of the flywheel, but doesn't take weight for the balancing. 
So if you want to lighten the flywheels, you cut 90 degrees to where the low spot is and it will make no difference in balance, but it'll take weight out. That's how that works. So right now, if I take weight out of this hole right here, it'll flop the thing back to center and then I can drill the two holes equally depth. It'll take equal amounts of weight off all the time. Understanding that? So it's still heavier on this side than this side. And the total weight is still needs more weight, so. I think I've got a lot of weight to come out. I think we're going to need a couple more holes to keep up with it. Yeah, we'll see. So I don't want to drill these all the way through. I'm already this deep. I'm going to probably have to go almost all the way through to balance this thing. I would have more, less depth holes and a bunch of real deep ones. What's it going to take to... I still got that much weight. So I'm going to put another hole right here. I don't like going more than two holes in this way to get close to the crank thing is. But we need a lot of weight out of here, so we'll take some more off. We need more weight out of this hole to cock it back. The weight's kind of shifted over now? Yes. We're not quite centered, but we're close. Now, as I cut more out of this hole right here, the one I just added, it's going to cock it centered because right now it wants me to drill like right here. So 
so that's going to rotate it as I take weight out and balance it too at the same time. And we still need some quite a bit of weight to see how heavy it is. So I'm going to drill out one hole. Got shifted almost center now. The bead now takes a drag off the rollers a little bit. So we're almost dead center now. See, it's almost equal in weight. I'm still a little off on this one. So whatever I do now, I can do equally on both sides. So that means these two holes here are in the same spot. These two are the two I'm going to drill now. I'm not drilling the other ones at all anymore unless I get something screwed up. Uh, this one looks like it's slightly deeper than this one now. We'll see. If it goes like this, you cut too much. <laughs> as long as it's still dropping, we're still in the right spot. You see, we still got a lot to go, see? And I don't want to keep cutting those holes any deeper, so I'll probably have to add a couple more in here. See, we're still pretty well centered because I cut equal amounts on both sides. I just need to cut more material, I see. To take some out of the other side? Yeah, this side here is not heavy enough. No, I mean uh, opposite side that you're drilling right now. If I make, if I cut here, this gets heavier. No, I mean over here. No, I don't drill on that side. If I want to drill all the way through, I drill all the way through. We have tummy marks on this side. Oh, I see. I don't want to cut any of those. This wheel's the right one, you have marks. But I always want to cut on the one side. See, I don't want to keep making these things real deep. I have enough material here. I'm pretty far from the crank pin, mm -hmm. the hole, way out here, so I can go pretty much almost all the way through on these. So I got this much more I can go without a problem. So I'm not worried about being too thin here. I don't want to cut this hole that deep though because we're getting the center of our crank pin hole. You can look at it from the center guys coming up. But I can probably so you got like an inch of material between the edge of the taper to here. I don't know if you can see in there, but when you take this off, you'll see it. Well, you can see it from this side. See, I'm drilled two holes right here. See how close this is versus this one? So this one could be a lot more material way, not, not weak in the flywheel. If I was to drill right here, the flywheel would be that thick, it's it'd crack right through it. You don't want that to happen. I've seen guys drill on that too, that's stupid. So, uh, so I'm gonna drill these same two here deeper. They're far enough away that it, I'm, I'm alright going that much deeper. I shouldn't have to go that deep though. Either. We'll see. Still be equal. So it's still centered, which it should be. So much closer it is now. Probably need to go another eighth of an inch on here, so, so I don't want to keep dropping it. 
Now if I put another hole here and drill this one deeper, I can take weight away and not weaken this anymore through here. Make these any deeper. So, kind of like that idea better and keep pulling these down. I'm going to re-equalize it now. It's a little bit heavier on this side than that one. And we're getting closer, see? Real lazy now, so you can pull back a little bit on the camera. The center's not too bad. Real close. All the little burrs on here are starting to affect us. It's a little bit heavier on this side than that side now. This looks like it.
Okay, let me put it pretty much stays where it wants to. Stays where it's at. You can see every little burr though. <laughs> Kind of jocks around back and forth. So there you go. So now it's balanced. Now Mother Nature says it's balanced. Now the computer might say something else, but which one do you trust? <laughs> I go with Mother Nature every time. <laughs> Screw that computer. Wheels are pretty soft. Definitely uh, not steel, not cast, not a forged steel anyway, cast. It's definitely not the quality of this mess. Let's see if it's going to come out easily or not. <clears throat> Alright, so there's what it looks like all done. You can see how deep this hole is relative to this, but remember I started at the same, at two different points when I started drilling down. These two went down equally as I was doing it. So this flywheel here is heavier than this half. That's my it's cast. That's why I had to do the counter rotation deal to bring it in. So depending on where the flywheel is different, it's different. Okay, so this here is the one we put all the marks up in here. We definitely don't want to disturb our marks, and you don't want to cut out the identifications. That's why you don't drill on this side. Now, if you dynamic balance it, which means it's spun balance, they drill on this side because they can't drill from this side. We got two flywheels together, so they, you can always tell when it's dynamic because it's drill on the outside. And if they say drill here, they drill right here because they're stupid. You never drill right here. You would drill here and here, equal distance apart, to take the weight out of that. But that ain't how they work. They just drill, 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 and it just, it just destroys everything. You can very easily screw up stuff by doing things wrong. Okay, I'm going to need to take off. Okay, I'm going to do the other one. So, take off. I got a tripod. I'll see you next week. Yeah, I'll be here. I got two more flowers to do you tonight. <laughs> Three more flowers. All right. Okay, so now we use a tripod shot. Now that I know how much to take off, see how much quicker we are. Okay, I'm going to press this in here so it'll stay put. Be right back. This one mark goes up. Oop. Helps to be on the correct side. Okay. This one's a lot more even. See that's almost dead center. So this one I'm gonna cut equal amounts. It is just as heavy like the other one was. Might even be a little more heavier than the other one. So this one's centered, so that means I can take equal amounts of weight. So I'm gonna put two holes right here and one hole, three all together, six on each total. I'll put two here, two here, two there. It'll be centered. Alright, see you later, Bill. Bye.
Here's what we did. Two there, two there, and two right there. So let's see if we cut too much. It'll be the first time I've done that. No, we didn't cut too much. But we're close. So you can see how it's not very far away. It's like we're off center a little bit. A little heavy on this side for some reason. I want equal depth. But when you get closer to the real balance, it does. The heaviness is not so much. It takes more less to make it go around a circle. I'm trying to say. Okay, so there is. We definitely need to drill that last hole a lot more. And how much weight? Do we have to move? We have very little weight to remove. We're almost in there already. Center up a lot better though. Do that same cut again. Get really, really close too. Shift away the other side. I'm so close, just every little bit. Makes a difference. Yep. Center, see if it wants to move anywhere. Yeah, pretty much anywhere you put it, it stays. Yep. All right. That's called roughing it in pretty quick. Gotta be careful about doing that. Now, if I overdid it, then I'd have to drill a hole in the bottom down here to bring it back around again. But luckily I didn't screw up. So. It'll be the first time though. Dumbass, wrong side. Okay. 
Go this way. Okay, so there's our two wheels. All done. Custom balance for his uh, piston weight and everything. His application. So there's the difference in how we had to balance them. This set's pretty well equal, and this set here was way out of whack. But uh, that's what it took. So there you go. So like I said, everything's on the inside. So the outside of the wheels are nice and clean, so they don't affect anything. And nothing's drilled too close to the crank pin hole for keep the strength up, and nothing is, uh, you know, way deep all the way through or anything. This is our deepest one, and it's right about there, about two thirds of the way down, maybe three quarter. Still plenty of material in it, though. All right, that's how you do it. So that's it for this set. Time for set number two.